You would think a metal that's lost over half its value would have a big jump back in 2024, but with nickel, you'll never know. So looking at the chart, nickel throughout the year has been on a steady, steep decline, starting in at about $13.85 and now is ending up in the mid $7 range. So this volatility is pretty normal for nickel. In fact, 2007, we've seen it at about $25 per pound and also well surpassed that in the 2022 era of canceled trading. So at the same time, as we've seen really high prices for the metal, we've also seen nickel down at about $2 or $3 per pound multiple times throughout the past couple years. One of the main disconnects between market reality and the LME was the trading crisis that happened in March 2022, which the exchange still hasn't fully recovered from. There are still suits over the unprecedented cancellation that happened during the short squeeze that the LME is still fighting through. Class 1 nickel is what is traded on the LME, but Class 2 lower quality nickel, which has been exploding in production primarily in Indonesia, has further distorted the market and devalued stainless steel. 304 stainless is 8% nickel. The nickel price is a big influence in coming up with a price for the item, but it's not solely dictated by that as chrome and iron units come into play as well. So you might be wondering what big factors could play a part in nickel pricing in 2024. Well, the biggest factor is going to be oversupply as the global nickel study predicts we're gonna be in a surplus of about 200,000 tons and also predicts more of the same for next year. So with that big factor coming into play and also the continued strength in Indonesia, it's going to be hard to paint a positive picture for nickel in the coming years. The seemingly stalled momentum of the EV revolution is also something that could weigh in on the price. If for some reason the production of electric vehicles spikes, that could be on the positive side for nickel, but we are not holding our breath. All in all, we are hoping for a bounce back in nickel and stainless, but the volatility of the market further downside is definitely possible.